So we're going to dive into the epidermis and look at the layers on that top layer. Um, this you're gonna see in lab. We're gonna draw and label those these layers. It's also important for looking at the growth of skin. The epidermis is the, the layers that, that grows. So before we talk about the layers, I do wanna tell you there are two types of skin um, and they, they depend on the epidermal thickness. So there's thick and thin skin um, named for the thickness of the epidermis. So on top here, this is the epidermis thin skin, thick skin, very thick. This here is then the dermis. In the thick skin, the dermis is all the way down there. So the most common skin in your body is actually thin skin, um, covers majority of your body. Um, fingertips are a region where there's thick skin. It's a lot more um, epidermis layers at the top there. We are going to be looking at thick skin in lab because it is easier to see the layers. Um, but just so you know, that's not what's present in a lot of your body. The layers are the same, the thickness of it is not. So let's look at these layers. Um, this, this here should be nothing new. These are the layers of the skin overall here, right? The epidermis the dermis made up of two different layers and the adipose tissue, which is also called the hypodermis, not actually part of the skin itself. So if we zoom in to the epidermis, we can see there's going to be things that look different. It's actually all stratified squamous epithelium, but the cells are in different stages of development. Um, so all epithelial cells, but they look pretty different. So let's, let's name these. The top layer up here goes just above what you can see here. You can see over here um, what that kind of looks like. Looks a little different even across that, but this is, and I just want to, no, that's okay. Um, this is your stratum corneum. So these are all going to be strata, plural stratum. Strata like stratification, layers, like you're a geologist. Corneum, I think of it as like crown, but it actually means horny layer. Um, horny as in thorns. Um, it's, will, because it's actually dead cells that um, are kind of rough looking. Like it's almost like you have a thick horn material on you. Okay, below that, there is, and it's, about this whole thing. This is a thick one. This is the stratum lucidium, um, a clear layer. Now I know this looks clear, um, but this is the clear layer. This, this is actually a, quite a thick one. You'll see pictures where the stratum lucidium is much thinner than this. Um, yeah, it is above. This is how you know where the stratum lucidium is. It's right above these dark purple granules. <laughs> this is the stratum granulosum. Granular layer is what that means. This purple stuff is actually keratin, a protein that's being produced and um, by the cells and it's produced in this layer before the cells kind of spit it out and then up here, the cells are dead and the keratin is um, separate from them. We'll, I'll look more at that when we get into growth. Making sense of the layers with the functions of the layers is helpful for understanding the layers, right? Below the stratum granulosum is a spiny layer. These cells are kind of spiny. Stratum spinosum. Uh, very thick layer, spinosum. The thickest layer often in, in, in pictures, um, oftentimes the other layer that's thicker depending on the thickness of the skin is the stratum corneum. Below the stratum spinosum, got one more layer. Um, it's the very bottom layer is, this, is the base layer, stratum basale. 
This is a single layer. It does not show very obviously in this picture. I've got actually one more picture. I'm going to pop up over here. Um, this, you can see right here, this base layer, single layer of cells goes down where those dermal papilla pop up. So this is a dermal papilla. So this is our stratum basale, single layer at the bottom. Okay, again, you'll see it in lab um, and we'll look at the layers, the function of them in the next video with growth. Let's do a learning check. I want you to practice. This is a different image, actually should be easier, especially since I have these indicated here to name the five layers of the epidermis and then this connected tissue below it. Okay, this matches up with that. This is a schematic picture um, of what's going on there. And so I wanna use this to label a couple more structures in the epidermis um, while we're looking at these, these structures. So some of these, right, you can't see here and we actually won't often see them. So like this is a sweat duct. You will see sweat glands um, down in the dermis in lab. You don't, I've never seen these, these ducts coming up here. This would be the pore then up here. Then we've got the um, this top layer, it's gonna have dead cells. Again, come back to that. And down here, there's gonna be living cells, living cells. Um, you can see here, it's kind of animated. These are the cells, dead cells are actually falling off. Um, so exfoliation um, is occurring. Exfoliating dead cells, epidermal cells. Okay. Then I'll say it now, I'll say it again. These cells in the epidermis are called keratinocytes because they make keratin. So keratinocytes are a type of epithelial cell, a specialized epithelial cell, specialized in the skin. Going down here, um, we've got a couple other cells that are, are, are present. Um, these are Merkel cells or tactile. So I want you to know that there are tactile cells in the skin. We'll talk about them with the sensory system later on. Um, then, do I wanna do that one? Yeah, sure. Okay, this is a stem cell. The idea here is that in that base layer, here you can see the stratum base layer kind of emphasized, um, there are stem cells, which means they're going to be producing, dividing and producing new cells going through mitosis. I'll talk about growth in the next video. This right here is producing as a cell, another modified epithelial cell that's producing a dark substance. This is a melanocyte. Remember site means cell producing melanin, which is a dark substance. I've got a whole video on skin color and the role of melanocytes in that. Okay, this blood vessel. So I want you to remember that blood vessels are located in the dermis. This is now below the epidermis. The epidermis itself is not vascular, but it gets its blood supply from the, the underlying areolar tissue. Then I know I said this before, but a good chance to make sure I said it clearly and, and um, emphasized it. This thing right here already has marks on the side. This is the dermal papilla. So papilla is just the raised bump, um, this bump right here. So it's the papilla, the bump of the dermis that kind of bumps into the epidermis. Okay, next video, we will use our knowledge of these layers to talk about how the skin grows.